my <laughs> lifelong dream right there. <laughs> Fond distress on the ground, mule deer doe with the boat. <laughs> How is that, dude? <laughs> Redemption! <laughs> Redemption! Holy crap, they were like 12 yards. They were, they were standing right there. I mean, it's not even 15 yards. I thought they were coming here because they dropped down in that bottom. And then I just saw the head pop up here, and I was like, oh crap, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to swing because they were looking right at me. So I just started slowly swinging, and she stopped, and I swung right up there. I, I, I don't know what I got on video. <laughs> they were right there, and that was insane. We called them in from... 250 yards. Yeah. yeah. I was a little nervous because once they met up with these other does, they didn't act like they wanted to come. some mule deer does has been used in my mouth trying to imitate a fawn distress and we've had a fair amount of deer run in and a fair amount of deer run the other way today but this is the uh this is the third doe we had under 30 yards that we've called in today and it's been like my biggest dream as a bow hunter to fawn distress call a mule deer in and kill him off the ground with the bow and to get it on video is pretty insane. I don't know. It was pretty chaotic, so I don't know what all Zach was able to get on video, but I don't really care because that was a that was an experience that him and I are gonna look back on and kind of laugh about, and smile about. And it brings me back to about a week ago when we were hunting together, and I killed my antelope, and he he said, "Whenever we get together, we always seem to kill something." So I was a little discouraged this morning when called that one in to, I don't know, 15, 20 yards, and I shot right over her back. Uh, man, I've been waiting for that opportunity for so long. And then uh, we just kept at her today. Mule deer have been on their feet all day long. It's three or four in the afternoon now, I think. And we just kept after it. Spotted this, this herd off the highway, or not the highway, the gravel road, and uh, made a play on them on some BLM, got tucked into some brush, started fond distress calling, and they came in from over 300 yards. And we were fist pumping and high-fiving, and I was kind of giving the recap after I shot the first one at, I think it was 16, 17 yards. And I looked over and I saw the little group of does again, so I started distress calling with my mouth, 
and this was definitely the biggest doe of the group and she come and stood right on top of the hill looking down on us and I put one right between her front legs right through the chest right up inside all of her vitals and she only went about 75 yards and piled up and didn't even make it to the to the bottom of the real nasty stuff so well after a little uh, blood trailing the two blood trails kind of intersected back up here where the first one died they were coming down this finger ridge and blood was getting kind of spotty but uh, we just found her she went a little further than the first one probably 100 125 yards but not too far all right folks here's our second doe this is the first one we shot second one we recovered she didn't make it too far either made a pretty good shot on her she's kind of quartering towards me so it exited back a little bit but that uh, NAP kill zone opened up a pretty big gash in her and she expired pretty quickly there are two does laying 50 yards apart probably but just an incredible hunt this afternoon we've been driving these back roads out here in Montana all day long chasing mule deer does and and trying to fawn distress call them in and uh, we got it to work a couple times today and finally capitalized that two two mule deer doe tags for this unit i never dreamed we would have got both of them out of one scent like we did especially after i shot this one and we were hipping and hollering and i looked over and <laughs> here comes the uh the other does so that was a lot of fun we got uh, plenty of work ahead of us now. We got plenty of daylight to get it done, but we're gonna have to come down and get both of these all quartered up and in the packs and, and hauled out. But Justin Piscajon and Zach Chose, public land in Montana, on the ground with the bow, fond distress calling muley does. It don't get any funner than that, I promise you.
shot this white tail doe. There is a pile of deer out in this field. I got to the edge of the trees. Joe stayed back and filmed. It's about a 45 yard shot. I was a little nervous. Cause I knew I hit her in the shoulder and the arrow popped out right away. But right where she was standing, there's a bunch of blood. And it just sprayed through her. I could see it sprayed through all the grass. So I might have punched through and got the heart or got a main artery. Zach Chos and I's minds as the doe triple day. Two mule deer does on the ground, called them in with my mouth, pawn distress, and then we hustled down here to some some stuff I've always wanted to check out along the river for whitetails, and uh, we made it happen. Obviously, there's a pile of deer down here. We definitely got to spend some more time down here. There's got to be some nice bucks in here with all these does. We got along the edge of the field and they started piling across the hay field coming right towards us. And so Cho stayed back and I tried to crawl as far as I could down the edge of the field before they got there. And she was just about to hit the edge of the field and I ranged her at 45 yards, dialed my pin, kind of half stood up drew back. Finally, I macked at her. She finally stopped and I was settling the pin and I let her fly and she dropped into it. I hit her further forward than I wanted to. Definitely wasn't where I was aiming, but it tucked right up underneath the shoulder and it stabbed the heart and it was a heck of a blood trail and she only went about 75 yards from where the arrow hit her. Awesome. Big doe triple down. 